Hey, welcome, welcome. Today, um, we are talking about the choice is yours today. So I thought it was kind of, you know, quite, um, it was a good day to do my hair and show you um, options because I have just air, like my hair is air dried from a few days ago. And Jaquel is air dried. Do you want to raise your chair up so you're the same height as sure. me? I feel like you look little. Okay. So that way we can be. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay. So um, Jaquel has her hair air dried as well. So yeah. you can see her curls are more curly. Mine are just kind of waves. So we wanted to show you, you know, just going into straight and into curly and what it looks like and how it works and all the fun options that you have within that. So we're going to turn on our irons. And um, Jaquel, what um, temperature do you use? I'm using 375. Okay. I use, this is funny, I use like 375 or 400 to straighten and I use 325 to curl. So, oh. mm -hmm. do right. you ever try changing? I don't usually, no. Oh, you're funny, okay. <laughs> Me, uh, I do, I'm always changing and doing all kinds of different things. Okay, so do you brush first before yeah, you do? Yeah, I okay. do, it'll get really frizzy. Do you want this brush? <laughs> I say you look sure. at it like, oh, I want one of those brushes. Now, brush through the other side. I wanna show people the difference, watch. Oh, so she's brushing through, you can hear, hear, okay. Okay, now brush through with the tangler on oh, the other okay. side, just to show. See the difference? Interesting, right? <laughs> it goes right through. Interesting. Um, but you still hear it a little bit, but a little do, the bit, pull yeah. is a lot less, right? Yeah. Yeah, the pull is definitely a lot less with the detangler. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Um, and it still does get through it, although it doesn't feel like, Araya's like, oh yeah, my gosh, it, it doesn't, doesn't feel like, it. it doesn't feel like it's doing anything. And I'm like, it's doing something. It just yeah. doesn't feel the same, like yeah. the pull of it and everything. So you can go through like the easy way or the hard way. It's up to you. <laughs> so you're going to straighten. I'm going oh, to curl yes. this side. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are, okay. are we ready? Are you, are you yeah. racing or are we just going? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. We'll just go. Everything doesn't have to be a competition. No. <laughs> Okay, so I always curl from underneath. So let's show how you hold the iron and how I hold the iron to curl and to straighten. Ready? Okay. Oh, guess what? Show them where your thumb is. Same grip. Okay, so it's same grip. We're just going in at different angles. So show them how you're going to do it. I'm gonna go in like this. Okay, and I'm gonna go in like this because I like to cheat the back, but normally on the left side, I go like this. So um, we're just gonna go in. Am I in your way a little bit? No, I'll go over you're all right. Okay. So I'm just gonna start um, and go from there. Start and go from there. That was <laughs> insightful, wasn't it? Yeah, that's all the insight. So tell him what you're doing. So I, I have taught Jaquel to straighten with a brush. Yeah, I like to use a brush. It just guides better through my hair with the iron. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just follow the straightener or the curling iron follows my brush. And do you use and the I same thing? Um, okay, yeah, so yeah, the she's using the brush. I wanna try and stay on one point at a time because I was about to go to a different point. Okay, so she's using the brush and that spreads out the hair yeah. really well and flattens it so that it's like this when she goes in to straighten it all, which is great. It gives the hair um, the ability to heat evenly. And then do you find that it does a lot better? Yes, it straightens a lot nicer when I use the brush. Okay. Versus just using the curling iron. Michelle said, would you straighten or smooth curly, wavy, frizzy hair before you use the iron to put curls in? My answer is no, yeah. because the iron straightens as it curls. And you'll see this example because both of us are going to curl yeah. on one side and straighten on the other to show you that we're only doing it all with one pass. So that's why I'm curling right now is because I have natural wave, but my wave isn't like Jaquel's curl. Like right. she has really a, a lot natural more curl wave, than yeah. I do. Yeah. Um, and so she's just, we're just showing you that both of them are the same. I just wanted to show the difference in the technique on each side. You can see, and no, the point of this iron is that you don't have to straighten first and then go into the curl. You get to do everything at once. Okay. okay so. Do you see, she's going in with her iron, so we both hold it with our thumb behind the light, okay? And then she's approaching with the straightening side, which is this, and I'm approaching with the curling side, which is this, on the left side. And then we just both go in and are doing straightening and curling. And then I throw my piece into a curl and let it cool, and she just straightens her piece and lets it fall. Yeah. 
Do you brush it after every time? Uh, sometimes. Yeah, I like. I kind of like to. I don't know why. I just yeah, like. I noticed you were doing sleek, it. smooth. Yeah, you're like, did I do a good job? Yes, yeah. I did. Well, and that is the good thing because you're curl or cooling it into place right away too. Right. So you're probably helping the cooling process yeah. by moving air through it right away. So it's probably a smart thing to do. If that's what you're inclined to do. Do we start curling on the other side or not? Yet? Okay, so you're gonna curl and I'm gonna straighten. Yep. So ready? We're gonna get ready on this side. Um, I'm going to raise my temperature to 375, and you're going and to I'm keep yours at 375. Yeah. Okay. And then I am going to use the detangler, I suppose, this time. And I use the paddle to prep mine. Okay. So a couple of things that I'm going to show you. Since my hair isn't as wavy, so I'm gonna try and teach you straightening tricks and um, we're gonna show you right side. Okay, so right side straightening, thumb behind the light, how about you? Right side curling, yep. thumb behind the light, okay? So we're going to go in, my approach is to my fingertips, or I'm going to get more the back of my palm coming up to my head, because you want the straightening side to come to your head, not the curling side. See how the curling side looks versus the straightening side? Okay, so you want this part of your hand approaching your head, not this part of your hand. Okay. And I like to start vertical in the back because it just makes it um, easier to approach than trying to keep a horizontal piece. So I do vertical sectioning in the back. And Jaquel, do you take smaller sections when you're curling? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay. Just because I'm not a very good sectioner. <laughs> What does that have to do with sections? Oh, because the... I just, I don't know. I find it easier if I take smaller sections to, okay. I don't know, get better curl, I guess. Okay. Otherwise, my sections end up like this, and then they fall out. Oh, I see. You I'll get the too iron. big at the yes, top. Yes, yeah. Yes, and you need to straighten your wave at the same time. Yes. Okay, I get that. See, and I know if I'm going to have a big section, I might do something like this, and then go into the smaller part of the section. Oh, you can really see where my blonde is on that piece. Ooh. Yesterday we were doing a shoot for some curls and uh, Jaquel walked out of the room and I, I did the curls and then they were looking fuzzy. So I put upstaged in them when she was out of the room and she came back in and she was like, what? It was crazy, the difference. <laughs> and I was like, it's just upstaged. And she's like, what? Yeah. It's so funny. What was the difference to you? It just looked so smooth and so clean yeah and all i did was take up stage and go yeah and twirl them yeah it was no more fun. frizz no more flyaways yeah took all that away isn't that crazy yeah i know upstage it does so much it's like the iron <laughs> just does so much yeah. it's hard to describe you're like well yeah you can do that girl yeah exactly <laughs> oh just turn your iron a little different yeah Okay, I'm almost done. So I, my hair doesn't need like um, as much straightened as Jaquel, so I'm not as worried about going through it with the brush. as So I just pre prep it and then hold it really flat. But if I wanted it like super silky straight, I would use the brush. I'm gonna spray a little bit of time also. Okay. On the curl side, you do that? On the curl side, I love to, it just, see how smooth it made all those oh, flyaways? Yeah. It just took them all away. Yeah. Nice. There okay. we go. So, there we go. We got straight on one side yeah. and curly on the other. Is that my ear sticking out? I didn't realize my ear made my <laughs> stick out. So you can see, both of us took one pass on each side to yeah. get it really smooth or really straight. And we just wanted to show you guys how that's possible. So this you could do pick me up curls and get more curl up here if you wanted to get it like higher up. I just kind of sometimes like start with curls low. Oh, the train's coming through right yeah. now, everybody. Um, so I'm just doing some pick me up curls to get curl higher so you can see how to do that. Okay. So straight, curly, you choose. And there's all kinds of curls within that and all kinds of different straights you can do within that. Like you could get it super straight by um, doing what Jaquel did. 
where she got it like super silky straight and I got mine like fluffy straight because I love fluffy hair right now. I don't know why it's my obsession. It just is. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I don't know where it came from. It just is how I feel about hair right now. All right. Thanks everybody. We'll see you <laughs> see next ya. week. Bye. Be kind.